Hey there, eighth graders. Uh, you, welcome to the video review here for the ISN for Life, the Universe, and Everything. Uh, this one is all about light. Uh, and so, as you can see right here in front of you, there are a few basics uh, that you need to be aware of. Um, some of the basics would be, of course, waves and their shape uh, and how they operate. And if you remember, we did this demonstration with the Slinky in class and we made these waves. Uh, it was kind of crazy, but a few basics here. The, the top of a wave is a crest. The uh, bottom of the wave is a trough. The wave length would be the distance from trough to trough or from crest to crest. And the wave height would be from the midpoint up to the crest. Uh, and this is important because water travels in waves, but more importantly, sound and light travels in waves. So light operates in this kind of, of a setting. In fact, light waves are actually uh, the result, or different colors of light, I should say, are the result of different wavelengths. So for example, we can see red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet because each of them has a different wavelength of light. So red has the longest wavelength, violet has the shortest wavelength, and our eyes are able to discern or tell the difference between each wavelength, and our brain interprets that as different colors. And of course, we know that beyond red, there are other wavelengths of things that we cannot see, such as infrared. And beyond violet, we can, uh, there are other types of wavelengths we cannot see, namely ultraviolet. And so what I'm going to show you right here is the entire spectrum, the entire electromagnetic spectrum of all the different waves that are available. Uh, and if we start in the middle here with visible light, you can see visible light. And of course, our friend Roy G. Biv right there hiding underneath, kind of watching us. Uh, and so I, I wrote Roy G. Biv up above here. If you're doing these notes for the first time, I would recommend a page full of these waves right here. And you start on the far left side with the waves at their longest, and you make them get shorter as you go across. And I think it's also important for you to make note of the different types of waves. And we have several here. For example, uh, visible light waves would be right here in the middle of the EM spectrum. These are visible light waves right here. But we can see quite a, or we cannot see, but there are quite a few more waves out there beyond visible. If we go to the more dangerous range, we've got ultraviolet waves, which are even shorter than these visible waves right here. Of course, beyond violet is ultraviolet. Um, ultraviolet waves are dangerous. They can penetrate into your skin. They can cause skin cancer, but they can't get much further into your skin. Uh, and so that's why you typically you'll hear people um, talk about the dangers of skin cancer when tanning, for example, because you get ultraviolet light there. Beyond ultraviolet, you get even more dangerous waves, x-rays, uh, and they're shorter, they're smaller, and they're, they carry more energy. These are more dangerous over here. These waves are more dangerous, they carry more energy, and ironically, these tiny little waves are the dangerous ones. Lots of little waves require more energy than these long, big waves over here. So x-rays are more dangerous. They can penetrate through your skin, through your body. The only thing they can't go through, of course, would be uh, your bones, which is why they're useful for photographing bones, x-rays. Beyond x-rays, you get to things even more dangerous. These are gamma rays. And gamma rays are among the most dangerous forms of radiation out there. The wavelengths are the tiniest, and they can do the most damage. They can pierce right through your body, go through solid steel, go through lead. They could pass through the planet if they have high enough energy. And of course, all of these waves through here are dangerous because if they strike your DNA, they can damage your DNA and cause things like cancer. Um, when stars blow up, we see gamma rays. So each of these waves are important for different reasons. X-rays are helpful for finding uh, black holes. Gamma rays are important for supernovas. Um, if we move down here to more long waves, um, beyond the red, invisible light, you get infrared. You know, we can sense that, we can feel infrared. Even longer than infrared are microwaves. And microwaves are actually so long and carry so little energy, we can use them for all sorts of things. We can use them, for example, in microwave ovens. We use them for a lot of cell phones, um, a lot of wireless internet broadcasts along microwaves, and even the longest and least dangerous here, radio waves. Uh, and of course, radio waves, just as you would imagine, we transmit radio signals, television signals, cell phones, wireless, all that stuff along the micro and radio wave wavelengths. These waves carry the least amount of energy and do the least amount of damage. That's the entire spectrum. Our sun puts out all of these wavelengths. Quite a bit in the visible and ultraviolet and infrared range, not so much over in the gamma range, which is probably a good thing. We don't need all that extra radiation. 